most experts suggest that you can go about three days without water. Now, that really varies. I know I've been some places out in the outback where the sweat's been pouring out of me. I'd go as far as to say a few hours and you could be in serious trouble in certain environments. Now, I love it how this life straw here from Survival Supplies Australia just goes around your neck. What a handy bit of kit, and it could be something absolutely critical to your survival. I've been through about a dozen of these and thousands of litres of questionable water. Now, this removes 99.99999% of all nasties, and you need to be careful, even when you look at a beautiful paradise-like setting like this, there could be a dead wombat, a dead kangaroo or something up there, and pumping bacteria down into this beautiful little water course. Now, all you do to use a life straw is just pop off the end, stick it in the water for about 20 seconds until it starts to soak. And when I get a new one, just because it's made of plastic, I just suck a few mouthfuls through and spit it out. And, uh, and then you're good to go. You've got thousands of litres of fresh drinking water. What a great little item. Now, if you don't take my word for it and go and grab yourself a life straw from Survival Supplies Australia, there are some other tried and tested ways of both filtering and purifying water. Now, if you don't have a life straw, then you can make a filtration system just out of the sleeve of a shirt or some pants. This is cotton, so I'm just gonna fold that over once, twice. Grab a bit of trusty guy mail lily, some charcoal. Some really fine stuff at the top. Some bigger chunks there, which are all good. Slide those in like that. Oh, that's sitting in there really well. Then some sand. And then last, you put in a bit of gravel. You can also put a bit of grass over the top as another layer. Oh, that looks really good. Now I'm just going to grab this cup here and the water that we got from the creek. Going to just stand that over the top like that. And So you repeat this process five or six times until it starts to look a lot clearer. Now it's important that you use the charcoal because that'll, that's really, really fine and that'll draw out a lot of the toxins. Now we've got our water filtered. It's time to give it a good boil, again for at least 10 minutes, to make sure that we get rid of any potential nasties that are in there. Next time you think, is that water good to drink? You're probably better safe than sorry uh, because you may or may not live to regret it. Oh, it looks all right. Let's see how it tastes. Well, it tastes like water. Funny, that. Now, this is a fundamental skill that can save your life and the lives of your loved ones. So it's a good one to put into practice as often as you can. Cheers. <laughs>